So I'm sitting on the floor. There's a chair in this that needs to get made. There's a video in there that needs to get made. Why not merge these two activities together? Why not make a video about making a chair while talking shite? I don't know if you noticed in my last video, but I didn't get a chance to take notes. We're in a similar situation. Let's see what happens. And the thing I want to talk about with all of you is all these Irish football fans. I don't know, that sounds like a weird thing to say, and I'm not a follower of football, but holy crap, what the hell happened with them? Why would you get the fuck? Already not having a good time. Whoa. Just make a mess, throw it everywhere, don't even care. So loads of these football fans went over to like, I think France and Belgium recently. I don't even know what like a league it was, but that's how out of touch I am with like sports and stuff. Ireland were playing against, I think, France or Sweden or and Sweden. Blah, 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 blah. And usually when a bunch of fans go over to another country to like watch their team play against the opposing team, they have the tendency to beat the shit out of everyone over there or just start fights and it get messy drunk and it's just terrible for everyone. No one has a good time. But a bunch of lads went over to support Ireland. Instead of like getting super drunk and like starting loads of fights and stuff like that and just becoming this big angry mob in a foreign country, they just turned out to be this lovely bunch of lads. And that's like thousands of lovely lads. Okay, we gotta make a big push here. What is this part for? Oh, ob it's obviously the bottom. What's wrong with you, Will? There's like all these videos of them doing all these like acts of good like almost saving cats out of trees and stuff like that although i'm pretty sure if you look hard enough you'll probably find that and it's not just like oh look at this one irish fan who helped someone or these two guys helped a hitchhiker or something it's like all of them apparently thousands of these guys just like cleaning up the streets after a night out or fixing cars or like singing lullabies to babies i'm not that's not even me exaggerating there's a video of the irish fans lullabying a baby to sleep on a tram like, while drinking and being like, wait. The funniest thing is, they're being like boisterous hooligans while doing these like crazy acts of kindness. Just kind of grabbing at bits and like yanking them out. My favorite part. Boxes within boxes. This is either broken or it's a bunch of very small things. Or both, a bunch of very small broken things. Freedom. Okay, I think we've gotten down to like the meat of it now. I wonder what this bit's for. And usually, when people are playing football and stuff like that, it's always like, even if the team comes home and they've lost, it's always like, oh, they're heroes regardless. In this case, it's like, look at all these crazy hooligans that went over to get drunk and watch the football and ended up being better ambassadors than any other single Irish person ever. <laughs> I am thinking we should be studying this more. What happened? How did no one just decide to go nuts over there? It was a premeditated to send like thousands of the nicest people we could find to another country just for the crack like. So this is where I'm going to be putting my buttocks whenever I'm editing videos. Just, you know, a little behind the scenes type shot for you there. <laughs> it was dark in there. Oh, the wheels. I was like, what the hell is this? There are no instructions with this. I just realized. Okay, box. we're done with. So we got to start at the bottom, I guess. We're starting with the bottom, now we're here. That is all of that song that I know. The complete opposite was happening at the exact same time, I think in England. It was like, I think English fans and Russian fans were just going nuts beating the shit out of each other. There's like an equal amount of footage of English and Russian fans beating the shit out of the people around them as there is Irish people like making the world a better place. And normally the Irish are right in there with them. Like they'd be fighting and stuff as well and just being messes. But what, like what was it that like, I think it needs to be studied. I don't know, even hand out a survey or something. Like, why were you lovely in France? <laughs> even if like Irish fans ran into the opposing team's fans, they would just be like hugging them and dancing with them and stuff. Even if they had like lost. For some reason, the best in humanity came out in the Irish fans this year when they went abroad. And I think we need to look into why. The kind of really good thing about this whole Irish fans going over and being lovely is that it sets like a really, really nice precedent for once. Like a really high expectation for football fans in future. Like, I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I'm just so fascinated by what happened. Like, I know literally nothing about sports or about football or anything like that. But it was kind of like, it kind of made me, as cheesy as it sounded, made me really proud just to be like, we didn't send a bunch of guys over and they just wrecked the place. I'm coming back, it's like, I know that thousands of really nice people are coming back to Ireland right now. There are thousands of nice people, at least, in Ireland. 
that's kind of that's uh, like a nice little thought. I feel like maybe I should be wearing green, but I have no football clothes. Like I don't own any football jerseys. For the first time in my life, I kind of want to own one though. I kind of want to own an Irish football jersey, just because it's like yes, that's how Irish fans behave. I would be proud to be one of them. I'm not sure if that's me admitting topping on the bandwagon, but fuck it, I want one anyway. I think I could look good in green. This bit and this bit are supposed to have a middle person, but I don't think the chair is only supposed to be this tall. Where, where is your brother? Yeah, maybe, like, I would like to think it's the beginning of something and it's not just this freak thing that happened once. Cause like, I don't think Irish people are immune from being assholes when it comes down to it. Is that? Is this correct? You look like you fit in here. Okay, I just changed all my settings and it probably looks crap now. Balls! I guess it's supposed to be this thing, but... Oh. That looks like it's supposed to happen. There's instructions right here. Connect this thingy to the bottom of the ass part and then we can screw the back jigger on. What? What is the front? Little arrow. That's the front. I was hoping to make this a topical video about how proud I am of all the people who went over to see the football and I think it's just gonna turn into me making a chair, lads. So, well done the Irish fans. Uh, they did us proud. They're probably bigger heroes than the sports teams that have gone over in the past, in my opinion. Let's all be nicer to each other. Let's make a fucking chair. Okay, thank God for jump cuts because this would take forever otherwise. Oh wait, is there supposed to be fucking washers involved here? We just have to unscrew everything that I just did and get oil everywhere. And the oil also makes it hard to grip the screws, which I just love. This washer is inappropriately sized and it's making me very angry. Sort of like, like a racing seat or something. Also resistant to matches and cigarettes. I know you're not getting to see what I'm doing exactly, but I don't care, I just wanna get this done. <laughs> right, so that is the ass end of the chair finished. Now we gotta stick the arms on, I think. Oh, this looks more correct, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it does. If not, I'm gonna edit it out so I don't feel like an idiot. This video is not going the way I had hoped. It is, however, going the way I expected. I really hoped more constructive points would have occurred to me at, from, at this point, but nothing really has, because the chair turns out to be pure evil and doesn't want to be born, but I have to force it to be born. Is there a commentary on some kind of sensitive subject there? Nah. This is where it just explodes in the pieces now. Oh, something happened. Look at this, what is this? Right. Whoa, okay. This is probably one of the worst videos I've ever put together. I thought I would be able to make some kind of like learning experience type topic from talking about the Irish fans. I think they're great, but I don't think it was a great topic for this video. I'm still gonna put this up because this is better than nothing. You're welcome. If you would like to tell me how terrible this video was, you can tweet me on Twitter. If you would like to tell me in private how terrible this video was, you can send me a private message on Facebook. If you wanna see videos that will inevitably be better than this one, you can hit the subscribe button. If you're still watching at this point, I really appreciate you sticking with me, hoping that it would get better, even if it didn't. Thanks so much for watching, guys. This was regrettable.